Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a top 10 warm and cozy fragrances. This is actually a video that was requested in, I think my previous live stream that I did by a viewer, Daisy. So Daisy, if you're watching, thank you for recommending this video because I adore warm and cozy scents. It's no mystery. Everyone that has been around on my channel knows that I am obsessed and in love with gourmands, vanillas, warm spicy scents it's just right up my alley so i have a list of 10 fragrances that are my most warm and cozy and so what is my definition of warm and cozy for me a fragrance that is warm and cozy is something that is there's definitely a very beautiful sensual aspect to it something very inviting and even a little mysterious it has to be warm with the spices and just something that is very comforting and also very 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 feminine. There are definitely some unisex offerings on this list, but generally these are fragrances that are going to lean a little feminine. So let's jump into it. Number one, which is actually one of my newest purchases in my collection, Sintra by Memo. And this is an ungodly, sensual, warm, white floral scent. Also on the gourmand side a little as well. The perfect combination. It's been compared to love don't be shy it definitely has that love don't be shy dna in here but this is just so so much more grown so much more dimensional so much more going on and much much sexier definitely more powerful in the sense of performance but also in the sense of how you feel when you wear this this is just one of those perfumes that when you wear it it is an absolute power move and it's interesting because at the same time it's also kind of soft and feminine it's this very interesting like yin and yang going on when you wear this type of scent so the notes in here it has neroli you have to really like neroli to get behind this scent we have pedigreen and red fruits and a little bit of bergamot in the mid we have milly with some orange blossom with those beautiful dark resins with cinnamon, jasmine, and rose. And in the base, there is some marshmallow, Madagascan vanilla, caramel musk, and cedar. If you like Love Don't Be Shy, you are going to absolutely adore this. It might be a little redundant to have both in your collection. I don't think you need to have both for sure, but personally, I feel like Memo is a better value. I know that there's a lot of hype around Love Don't Be Shy. People want it just because it's Love Don't Be Shy. It's, it's Rihanna's signature scent. But honestly, this is a much better value. It's more affordable and you can get it on discounters as well. And it's a bigger bottle. 75 ml versus the Killian is 50 ml. I think this bottle goes for around 300 and you can get a beautiful discount on the discounters as well. I have 20% off codes. You guys already know it's all linked below. Like I said, you have to really enjoy Neroli to like this scent but it is a very modern and youthful interpretation. There's nothing old smelling about this whatsoever. I think some people think of Neroli and they think of like Grandma Chanel. No, it's nothing like that at all. It's very youthful. I love this one so, so much. It's very warm and cozy, but at the same time, it's very, very sophisticated. And I have both Love Don't Be Shy and this, and this is definitely one that I know I'll be grabbing much, much more. Sintra by Memo. So next we have a fragrance by the house of Atelier Dessors. This is Iris Fauve. This, you guys, is the most, the most heavenly gourmand iris scent. It is such a unique take on an iris scent profile. As soon as it opens, you get this you always smell the iris in this. It's not a very makeup-y iris though. It's not like a super cosmetic kind of powdery profile. You get this iris mixed with like this bakery scent. Something is definitely baking in the background of this. For me, it smells like you're baking, you're in the kitchen and you're baking snickerdoodle cookies. It definitely gives off that vibe mixed with iris. Can you imagine just how un- godly delicious that is. Get the iris, but there's also a little bit of this resinous touch in here. It definitely feels like a holiday scent, like puts me at Christmas time, definitely puts a smile on your face, really just puts you in the most amazing cozy mindset. So the notes, it has iris, a super, super, super realistic cinnamon note with bergamot in the midway of some cypriol oil, some Haitian vetiver and patchouli adds this very, very subtle kind of earthy touch. And in the base, we have myrrh, labdanum and musk. And like I said, you get a lot of those resinous touches too. When it opens, it is very mildly harsh, just a touch harsh. But after the first like 10 seconds, that kind of goes away and then you're just enveloped in the most gorgeous, delicious scent 
iris mixed with those snickerdoodle cookies. It's like, this is one of the top definition, warm, cozy scents I could possibly pick out. That kind of harshness after that opening, that initial blast, it tones down and then the iris comes out a little more and it just gets so velvety and smooth. This one is very, very, very well blended. And like I said, the iris isn't really green and it doesn't really lean in a makeup y cosmetic way. It's more of like a very smooth, creamy Oris butter, which is why this smells so luxurious. It's really perfect for an occasion, like attending a wedding or something like that. Like this is definitely something that you wear when you want to make a statement at the same time being very warm and cozy. It's very sophisticated, but at the same time, very, very, very inviting and very intriguing as well. Iris Fav by Atelier's Desores. One of my recent favorite discoveries, I am obsessed with this one. So next we have Chloe Nomad, Absolute de Parfum. This is one of my favorite designer lines out there. This and the YSL Lieb line are just, for me, the most unique designers that you can buy. This one in particular, the Absolute de Parfum is my favorite from the line, even more so than the new Jasmine Flanker. I prefer this one more. I don't know why I'm making all these Christmas connections with this warm and cozy list, but this is another one that gives me a very strong Christmas connection. It's very green, sweet, woody. It's very unique and it's a freshie as well. There's a balance between being fresh, but also being warm in this. So the notes in here, we have Mirabelle, we have Oak Moss, Devana, Sandalwood, and Musk. There's definitely something very green about this. For me, I perceive it more as like a pine tree. Like it's Christmas time, there's pine trees out and it just smells so beautiful. It's a very underrated flanker in the Nomad line. Seriously, this one is so good. There's a subtle but present sweetness as well, but overall it is very green. Smoky aspect as well. But at the same time, you get that creaminess from the sandalwood. It's definitely very deep and very woody. And for me, I get this very slight kind of dried plum scent as well. This is one that is definitely a unisex fragrance. I know that the bottle is a little feminine, but this is a scent profile that I think a lot of men would love as well. Chloe Nomad Absolute de Parfum. Amazing underrated designer. You can get this for so cheap on the discounters. So next on the list, we have one that is for my chocolate lovers. This one is Chocolate Queen by Navitus. This is one of my favorite, quote unquote, undimensional, straight up gourmand fragrances. This is not usually how I like to wear gourmand fragrances, but there's something about this one that is so delicious and so good that I cannot stop wearing it. This one is chocolatey with a very bitter almond note, some hazelnut as well, adds this nuttiness that kind of cuts the chocolate. Also has a beautiful booziness from Bailey's Irish Cream. Praline, caramel, vanilla absolute, just like all of my favorite things. And it's very, very realistic. There's nothing synthetic, syrupy, over the top sweet with this one. It's a very natural, realistic scent. I love this perfume. I said this in my Navitus review this is the definition of a warm and cozy perfume. It's so inviting and so sensual. This is one of those perfumes that's going to make people want to come close to you and literally eat you. It's a quality scent. It's very, very realistic. There's nothing too sweet or too spicy about it. It's really well balanced. It's just stunning. That combo of the boozy chocolate sweetness is just killer and it gets me every time. It is the ultimate true gourmand. I love it so much. Amazing job, Gabby, with Chocolate Queen. Oh, if I didn't mention, this is the collaboration with the YouTuber Gabby Loves Perfumes. <laughs> Oopsies. So next we have a fragrance from the amazing American-based niche fragrance house, Imaginary Authors. This is Whiff of a Waffle Cone. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I know that this fragrance is in collaboration with Salt and Straw, which is an ice cream shop with some locations around the country. This one is another true gourmand. This one is like you're walking into an ice cream shop and you just get hit with all the smells, the waffle cones, the ice cream, the spice. It's just so good. So much warmth in this, which you wouldn't typically expect. You think ice cream, you think cold, but this is a very warm, and cozy perfume. There's a lot of spice with this mixed with some caramel, vanilla, some heavy cream. It's so cozy and very, very, very calming. I think I've mentioned this in the past that this is one of the fragrances that I wear when I'm feeling anxious at night. There's just something about it and it's very strong. This thing is a beastly perfume. I just put one spray on the back of my hand when I'm getting into bed and it just helps me calm down and fall asleep so fast. If that's not the ultimate cozy scent, I don't know what is. It also has this like very 
realistic bag of sugar smell, like you're sticking your nose in sugar. It's just amazing how artisanal and beautiful all the scents from imaginary authors are. They just have this way of really taking you and placing you at a time and place, just a very vivid visual scent memory in your brain. It's just, it's really unlike anything else. It is a little bit on the heavy side. I feel like a lot of people when they want to try this, they think it's going to be something that's very light and airy. This is not like that. There is some weight to this fragrance. It's a little smoky, just a touch, like the slightest touch of smokiness. It's so addicting. It's very artistic. It's very unique. There's not any other gourmand out there that smells quite like this. Just like all the perfumes from imaginary authors, they just have a way of taking these mass appealing scent profiles but making them unique and very cool amazing deals as well one of the most affordable niche fragrance houses probably like in the world <laughs> like really quality niche fragrance house all of their bottles are right around a hundred dollars and this one is 75 dollars for 50 ml it's an amazing deal and you're supporting a fantastic american niche fragrance house whiff of a waffle cone i feel like i keep saying this with every scent the definition of a warm and cozy i mean I would hope that every fragrance on this list would be the definition of warm and cozy. But this next one is the definition of warm and cozy. This is Minuit et Demi by Fragrance du Bois. This one is a gourmand, but it's more right, like what I typically look for in a gourmand. This is a much more dimensional scent. It has the gourmand aspects, but it has things that don't smell like food to mix and really balance and ground it and make it just so good and so wearable. This is a very beautiful, sensual date night fragrance too. Like the ultimate warm and cozy, intimate date night fragrance is Minuit et Demi. There's a very creamy cardamom in here that adds a lot of richness. In the top, along with this kind of like spicy pimento note as well that balances and cuts that creaminess. There's caramel, coffee, and vanilla, just to add to those gourmand touches, some of my favorite things in fragrances. But there's also tobacco, there's a liqueur note, some cashmere cinnamon, and vetiver as well to balance it all out. Like I said, this is a very dimensional, very well done, very well balanced gourmand scent. And I guarantee that your first impression of this fragrance will be quality and luxury and maybe a touch of mystery as well this is one of those fragrances that will have everyone around you asking who is that girl minui et demi by fragrance dubois so next we have a designer fragrance that is not talked about enough this is lancome's ideal eau de parfum intense this is a fragrance that when you smell it, it is going to give you goosebumps, literal goosebumps. 10 out of 10 designer, perfect for any occasion, but especially, especially those warm and cozy moments. It's woody, it's floral, and it's very, very, very musky. It's kind of like a Shepra floral style scent. There's bitter and mandarin orange with rose, jasmine, cashmere wood, patchouli, Madagascan vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. There's almost like this champagne accord. It's very bubbly and fizzy is definitely like a very metallic rose. This one screams luxury and you guys are going to be so impressed when I tell you the price of this. What I paid for this bottle, I paid $65 for this in, in the designer world. At Ulta, I bought this. In the designer world, that is like almost unheard of. This is such an amazing priced fragrance. It performs amazing. It's very strong. It lasts a very long time and the smell is just... Oh my God, luxury, so inviting and so sexy, insanely sexy. That rose and jasmine combo is just something else. And for the price, you really can't beat it. Lancome IDL Eau de Parfum Intense. So next on the list, we have something that is a little different, but still very warm and cozy in a different way. This is Rouge Smoking by BDK. This is a very beloved fragrance, probably one of the most talked about from BDK. It's like a very fizzy, warm cherry cola. A lot of pepper and vanilla with some florals like orange blossom and heliotrope as well. It's a very unexpected scent, especially on a woman. This is another one that is 100% unisex. Any man could rock this, but on a woman, it's gonna make you stand out. You're gonna smell unique, but it's not going to be in like a really, 
you know, out there type of way. You know, you're not, this isn't necessarily like a polarizing scent. I think this is a pretty like mass appealing scent. A lot of people are going to really enjoy smelling this. There's a lot of tonka and labdanum in this. It adds that kind of warmth. It's not a huge projector, but it is just perfect for those like intimate occasions. The cashmere in this adds a lot of richness. There's just something about cashmere and fragrances that just adds the most luxurious touch. Really just lifts up the mood. This is a scent for people, for women that don't really like typically feminine scents, but you still want something that is kind of sweet and inviting and warm. This is an amazing option for you if you want to smell different than everyone else. This is Rouge Smoking by BDK. And in the winter, this one just, it hits different. This is an amazing scent in the winter time. All right, so we're getting down to the bottom of the list, sadly. So next we have one that I think the name says it all. This is Absolute Aphrodisiac by Anishio. This is the most addicting, sensual vanilla out there. I personally get subtle latte vibes as well, but there is no coffee listed in this. This is one of those scents that it just, it makes my eyes roll back into my head. <laughs> it's so good. It's so sexy in the most delicious way. I cannot stop going on and on and on about this one. Very sexy and very sensual, but at the same time, it's a very elegant vanilla. I feel like most of the time vanilla scents are just for kind of like casual daytime, running around town, coffee date kind of thing. But this one has a touch of elegance coming from somewhere. It just makes it feel definitely like an occasion worthy scent. There's vanilla, there's some amber, there's castorium and leather and musk. With some white flowers, there is definitely like a subtle, leathery, not so much leathery, more like a suede vibe, a very mild suede. It's unisex, there is definitely some subtle sweetness in here, but the dry down on this is just heavenly, the most heavenly dry down. Very smooth, absolutely zero animalic touches in this, just pure vanilla heaven. One of my favorites, and it's a 10 out of 10 on performance. This thing is beastly and it lasts 10 to 12 hours on the skin. It's so good. Amazing deal if you can get it on the disc counters. Absolute Aphrodisiac by Anishio. All right, so we need to end this video with an absolute banger. Forgive me for not having a cap. This is Blanche Bet by Liqui Imaginaires. This one is the ultimate, the number one bedtime scent, if you catch my drift. Super, super lactonic and milky. This is for people that love milky scents. It's very musky as well with touches of cacao. There's some tonka bean, and this is also one that kind of has an incense-y aspect with some spice from Embret. Really well balanced. There's just something about this one that when I close my eyes and I picture like, who is the girl that wears this scent? It is just the most, beautiful goddess woman. I just picture like white silk everywhere and satin and it's just flowing and it's just the perfect movie moment. I don't know. This fragrance is just something else and the power that you will feel going to bed wearing this, you are going to feel like the sexiest goddess that ever walked this earth. If you like milky scents, luxurious, sexy, sensual, warm, milky scents, this is going to be one that you need to try. This is a perfume that is going to have people just drooling over you. It just takes you and transports you to the most luxurious hotel in a very exotic space. I don't need to say it, but I will. It's very cozy and very warm. Stunningly gorgeous. It is so sensual. This one, ladies, will have your man purring like a cat, I'm telling you now. This is a power move to wear to bed. Take my word for it. If you like milky lactonic scents, you are going to be obsessed with this one. And if you buy it, you'll get a cool cap, unlike me. <laughs> Blanche Bet by Liqui Imaginaires. It's amazing. So guys, that is my video, my top 10 warm and cozy scents. Once again, thank you Daisy for recommending the video. I always try to take everyone's, all of my followers and subscribers feedback into consideration when planning my videos. So if you ever have any fun video ideas that you'd like to see, just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in a comment below, what is your favorite on the list? What are you interested in trying? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.